Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Kellen here again with Droid Life. So I've actually still got the Galaxy S9 in-house, if you can believe that. And I've got in-house because after looking at our review, a number of you asked, hey, how did you get those pixel style navigation buttons? Why do your icons look like they're Googles? That sort of thing. And I get the feeling that a number of you wish your Galaxy S9 software resembled that of a Pixel 2. So let's do that. Let's turn your Galaxy S9 into a Pixel 2. All right, so where do we begin here? Well, we begin with the launcher of the phone. For those not familiar, a launcher is your uh, is your home screen powering app that's on any Android phone. So when you swipe up to get into your other apps on whatever phone you own, that's called your launcher. When you long press and change things in your wallpaper, that's all sort of part of your launcher. So we want this launcher on here, right? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a Pixel 2 launcher, on Galaxy S9. So in order to do that, there's there's a number of things you could do. You could go to the Google Play Store and there's a whole bunch of third-party launchers. You just search for launcher and install and you may find one that you like. And there's a bunch out there, like Nova Launcher is a really good one. And if I really want to get crazy, I can install Nova Launcher and customize all of the hundreds and thousands of settings there and it's really fun. But if you want to go the simple route, we're going to show you another way. So there's an app called Rootless Pixel Launcher. Ignore the rootless part. Essentially what somebody did is take the Pixel Launcher from Android P actually, and they made it available so that it works on phones like the Galaxy S9. So if you go to Droid Life, we wrote an article recently called, you can download and use the Pixel 3's new double bubble launcher. What we're referring to there is this rootless Pixel Launcher. So if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a right here link. You're gonna tap on that. It'll redirect you to XDA. And we're gonna download this launcher from XDA and sideload it onto the phone. I know that sounds weird. Essentially what that means is you're installing an app outside of Google Play, which sometimes you need to be careful of. We trust XDA for the most part, but still just be warned that this is what you're doing. So in this thread, you want to look for install, and then you want to look for download. So we're going to tap on that download link. It's going to then prompt us. Do you want to download this? And we say, okay. Once it downloads, we then tap open. And when you do this for the first time, you actually have to give permission to allow apps to install a third-party app like this. Again, it's a security measure that's in place. So we just flip the toggle there, hit the back button once, and then we can install. So I tap install. Should only take a couple of seconds because this phone is fast after all. And when it's finished, you'll say done, and then you tap home, and this is where the magic happens. You get to choose which launcher, and you wanna go ahead and choose that new Pixel launcher, and then you also wanna tap always. So that this gives you this launcher always, every single time you tap home. And we just made a huge step towards getting that Pixel experience. So you can swipe up and get into the drawer to find all of your other apps. And this actually looks more like the Android P launcher, by the way, so you're running even newer stuff than, than most people are. You can also swipe over here and get into Google Now. That swipe is there, so your Google Now is there instead of Bixby, although your Bixby button still technically works. Um, you can grab icons and drag and drop them around, that thing. So this is your new launcher. Now this is set up. You got the Google search bar down at the bottom. You got voice search there over in the bottom right corner. You are well on your way. So next up, we gotta start theming things. We wanna make this area up here look a little more pixel we want to make these navigation buttons at the bottom look more pixely and we do that with themes now to install a theme Samsung's actually made this pretty easy in recent years you just swipe down go into settings look for wallpapers and themes which you'll see right there we tap on that and that opens the Samsung theme store and you can either tap on themes and browse through different themes and find something you really like but if you want that pixel look we're gonna go ahead and search and in search we're gonna search for pixel lies so I can see if I type pixelize there, I actually get two options, but let's just hit search to bring them all up. So in pixelize, you have regular pixelize and pixelize with a giant D on the end or an uppercase giant D, an uppercase D on the end, which stands for dark. So you have a light or a dark theme version. They are free and they are created by a Cameron Bunch and he's essentially made a pixel theme that works on Samsung phones. So what we do is download, I'm gonna go with the light version here. I also have the dark version installed. I'll let you decide what you wanna do. The dark version just turns your phone app a little darker, maybe your messaging app a little darker. Anyway, you download, once it's ready, you click apply and apply again, and that will apply the theme. Once done, you again have taken another huge step towards turning your S9 into a pixel. So I've got those buttons down there on the bottom, those pixel style filled in triangle, circle, and square. You're kind of you're, you're kind of looking good. Also, if I swipe down this notification area, you can see this has changed as well to sort of that gray background. I can go into settings and these look just a little simpler, maybe not so Samsung-y. I mean, the layout and stuff hasn't changed, but it just has a different style to it. 
But again, you have now made another step towards where you want to go. Then once you've done those two things, you're, you're basically 95% of the way there. And from here, you're actually just seeing if you want to take everything a further, an extra step further to really go full Google. So what I will show you though is again, you can you can grab things from in here just like you normally would, and you can customize this to look however you want. Remember that, that's just a basic Android function. You can customize the dock area down there, add more apps to it, add stuff to your home screen, whatever. You can also long press on here and get into some additional settings. So if you want notification dots on your on your phone which are the little dots that show up on notification or on icons when you have notifications available you'll go in and tap on that option go in here to allow it and and you do that just by tapping that little toggle for pixel launcher and now you'll get notification dots on icons so maybe something you want to do the at a glance widget is that top clock widget that'll show you not only weather and the date but it'll show you if you have upcoming calendar appointments and things like that and if you need to leave now that sort of thing so you access that in there including traffic information um, you can also do some other things in here like change your icon shape you can use the system default or i'm a big circle fan so i force it to use circles and they probably were circles, but you can see uh, you can change that. And there's also a customization option, which you may want to switch things to a dark theme, which would mean your app drawer then goes dark. You can also tell it to use dark text, and that could all depend on the background you're using. You can even disable that at a glance widget up top with the with the clock, or I'm sorry, with the weather and the calendar if you want. If you don't want that there, um, you can all go also go a step further and go with the the supposed Pixel 3 experience by toggling that, and that will separate this bottom bar into a search and a voice button again completely up to you but there is some stuff you can customize there to really really go after it and then the final thing is maybe change some default apps maybe kill some notifications and maybe consider google's uh, camera app so i'm going to go into settings here and i'm actually going to go into apps and I'm gonna hit this little menu button up top and choose default apps. And from in here, what we're doing is tweaking default. So you'll remember you set your default launcher as the Pixel launcher. Well, your phone out of the box may want to use say Samsung's browser. So if you want to change that to Chrome, you do that in here. You choose the browser you want. If you want to go into your messaging app and choose it, change it from say Samsung's messaging to Google's Android messages app, Again, you would do that in here. Now, we did install a theme, so these icons do look the same. I believe the top one is Android Messages, just in case you were wondering. And then let's say you don't want to use the Pixel Launcher anymore, or you want to get crazy and use something like Nova Launcher. This is also where you change that. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing I would tell you in here is to go into Notification Settings. Tab that again, and it's gonna pull up your list of apps that have access to notifications. And what we're doing here is scrolling down to find something like calendar so samsung calendar google calendar if i don't want notifications from samsung's calendar because i just use google's i can go ahead and turn off notifications for that so i'm not getting double notifications or anything weird like that now i'm just getting google's you can do that with android messages as well you can really sort of fine tune this to only give you notifications from the apps you want to use i mean you should do this in general if things are bugging you but if you have those double apps like samsung often has this is a good way to go ahead and clear that out. And then the final thing I will tell you is you could use Google's camera app. Now at the time of filming this, there isn't one available, but if you're watching this months down the road, there is a good chance there will be a Google camera app that was pulled from the Pixel phone, just like this launcher was, that will give you the Google camera experience on your Galaxy S9. Again, you'll probably have to go to XDA, search for Google camera, make sure it works on the Galaxy S9 and whichever version you have, that could be Exynos or Snapdragon version, just make sure of that, side load it, and then get that Google camera experience. So. Anyways, that should help you. Your Galaxy S9, for the most part, outside of a little bit of hardware, is now a Pixel 2.